Ooh, man! It's... This is where all the crazy insects live, man! Take a look at Roll this! Roll it! Frodo! <laughs> oh, man! What oh. is this garbage? <laughs> Crocky! Wow! Crocky! Look huge. at all these flying insects! They're everywhere! Crocky, mate! Look at this rock! This is an arrowhead! The native Indian Aborigines must have made this to hunt these wild insects down there! That's oh, rock! That is a dead tree! And if you come over this way, come a little bit over here. We got the igneous rock. The crocky igneous rocks. There's insects crawling everywhere. Mr. Frodo! Where are you? Who brought him along? Samwise, get over here. See if you can find some insects. Crocky, look at these ones. I don't see anything. They must be hibernating. That's a stick. What did you follow me over here? Someone, take a look at this rock. Hey, that must be Mr. Oh, Frodo. Right. <laughs> you kill a bloody orc with one of these. <laughs> you betcha. Eat that. Mark <laughs> with. I prefer a point to pass, but whatever. Rocks will do. Well, Samwise and Video Man, if you come up here. Croak, yes. There's this rock. If you uh, dig under it a little bit, you might be able to find some very tasty grubs. Or maybe not, you know? It's kind of kind of in the air sometimes, you don't really know what's going on. 50 50. But uh. Yes, uh. There's another cave in there kind of thing. So. Uh, I'm just gonna. We're gonna shrink down to this side and go in that cave. And we're going black ops. We'll, we'll see you later. Well, we used the shrink ray, and now we're down in that little cave thing, and me and Samwise are here, and we're looking for bugs, and they're probably going to be huge, because we have chunkers all the down. But uh, there might be some even smaller ones that are just too small to see when you're regular size. So we'll start by looking for those. Hmm. So far our insect expedition has not proven to uh, provide us with very good results, but uh, if you follow me over here. Oh, and as you can see, there is a small weed. Wow, those weeds, they make me sneeze. Let's not talk about that. Samwise, do you see any insects? No! Go deeper into the cave. Oh, you missed the Frodo! Mr. Frodo! Whoa! No. Oh! As you can see down there, that's where all the insects are hiding. They know that us human mammals are going to scare the crap out of them. And we're probably going to eat them, is what they're thinking, probably. But we're not, we're just going to video game them. They don't know that, so they're hiding. These trees are massive. They never end. the video that we're in a game, remember? Oh, play. Hey, our video man spoiled it. We aren't in a cave, and we haven't shrunk, but uh, it's still a pretty crazy episode. We'll be right back after these messages from Bin. That's a crazy rule. So, now we're completely lost, and uh, I think if we hit a general that way direction we should we should find the path. So you can follow me guys. I'm dealing with amateurs here. I used to work with that uh, man versus wild guy. He never got lost. This is crazy. Oh, God. Some of the best insects are out in the wild. 
No, oh, I'm sure they are, mister. Psh. Let's have more commercials. Underneath this here rock, it's probably crawling with insects. So, uh, as you zoom in, as I take away this rock... <laughs> nope, nothing. But as you follow me up... Yep. Oh, Crookie, oh. he's getting away! He's getting away! Catch him! Catch him! Catch the little bugger! Oh, I got him here! Oh, he looks like some sort of flying dandy long digs. <laughs> Eat him! Eat him! Eat him, What Sam. do they call these? Amphibious? Eat him! Triamonies? Antigonos? He's trying to fly away! And as you, as you know, here on Insects of the Wild, we never hurt insects. The uh, thing even said no insects are harmed, but uh, this guy, he could kill you. You don't kill him first. Go on, take that. Now, remember kids, no animals or creatures or not anything was harmed in the production of this. Well, I guess you could call it a film. It's a documentary. You're yeah. a documentary filmmaker, am I right? It's a film. Oh, I bet I'm making it. No well, come on, come on, come on, come on. As you can see, oh, there. I've only got one hand, brother. There are these uh, lines in the wood, and these are from termites and other creepy crawlies who have eaten the wood, but then the bark peeled away, and they found it no longer suitable. For their daily bread. It's a terracycle dumplina! <laughs> oh, another one of those rocks on the bar. Probably teeming with insects under here. Are there any insects under yours? Get the baguette out of the way. It seems as if we've been transported into some mysterious land. Where the insects just do not exist where you think they will exist. It's a little guy in long way, it's not me. That? I'm gonna blame that on the evil magician insect. Anyways, about time for a commercial break here. Oh, Finfur will get mad at us. Come right back after these messages from Beanford. <laughs> well, Samwise. Cameraman, I think we're lost. We've been traveling for hours. Yeah. No, we only found cool. like two insects the entire time. I think I'm just gonna lay out here and die. Uh, guys, yeah. this almost looks like a path. Hey, that almost looks like a path. I found it. Oh, oh hey. hey. You see, they like to feed off of the sweat that drips from the brow of the passerby. So, uh, oh, he got away. It's a lucky dose. If you look here, you can see that uh, there are traces of these amphibious creatures. Exactly what I was talking about. Traces of these amphibious creatures. And, uh, this is a prime habitat for the little buggers. And, uh, see this rock? Underneath this rock, there must be dozens. Help me move the rock, cameraman! Someone! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Underneath here. Wow. You've been spoiled again. Our enemy, the loose grid tire. Must have come here before us and taken all the wild life. Taken all the wild. We've been trying to shut them down for years. Wow, it's a mountain. Oh, llama. Anyway, now that we've got that shot in our film, they're trying to make a better film than ours. But we all know that we are the best filmmakers in the world. Oh, oh the third bug. You see, it's dead, but that wasn't our fault. I promise. <laughs> Where are thou, Mr. Frodo? Hi, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I went there and there's like all these bugs crawling around in their clothes. So I just left and went to Urban Outfitters. As you can see, there are some secretions of the giant Punachachi beetle. So we must be getting close. <laughs> now back to Benford. Oh wow. Out. How about you, Samwise? I'm pretty choked out too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? First you get me lost, then I almost get eaten by this giant spider-like thing. I'm out of here, temperature. Come on, cameraman, don't leave us. Don't leave us. Ah, you know what? Get out of here. We don't need you. You see? Uh, Samwise, you know how to operate a video camera, right? Where are you, Mr. Frodo? So much to that. Well, I did take a couple couple classes in high school about it, so I should be able to do the, my thing. Here, just hold it like this. I'll call Star Command. Star Command, come in! This is Soul Glow Activator! I need reinforcement in psychologist and fast! Yeah, you don't know how to point that, do you? Well, that's okay. I'll take control of the camera and until Star Command sends reinforcements. Hey, look! Reinforcements. What is your name? <laughs> well, you see, I've been practicing for a while, but I haven't quite got it right. Alright? He's a joke. Well, Joe, God, God. I'm assuming that down there in that pool, there's, there's all sorts of insects. Joe, you kind of remind me of my ex-cameraman. Yeah. He was pretty crazy. So do you see any insects? Oh, I could bite your face off. But we're close. Almost. Riding from under the water. Yes. But, see these creatures must breathe. That's the bubble. Stick your head in there and grab it. Like me. That's what we're paying you for. Take risks. Jake. you did. You just splash the water. But we're not supposed to break it all. It's still making bubbles. Do you know how to hold a camera? Camera what? Oh okay. yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. Ah, gross. Ah, gross. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do this guy. He's just there. I want to be in here somewhere. Thank you, Tom. Ow, 
will get my head froze. All oh, those crazy rascals. Well, we better get out of here before. Before, uh. We all get eaten alive by. by these crazy abnormal insects. Amen to that, brother. Ooh, as you can see here, there's caramel syrup coming out of this here tree. Taste it, cameraman. Joe, how's it taste? How's it taste, Samwise? Ooh, that's some good stuff. You like it, Samwise? I don't think he's had very much syrup before. I don't think that's caramel syrup. I think that's bug juice. Ooh. That's gross, man. It smells kind of like sap, but bugs make their stuff to smell that way so that they can hide in the trees. We'll be right back after these messages from being fed. This is where the giant arachnids burrow into the trees to suck the brains from their prey. <clears throat> there might be a couple babies here, but usually when they turn into adults and lay their eggs, they move on. Thank you, Samwise. Now off to find your friend. Mr. Ben, you so love, let's go! Dive the way And this is what our noble hero is like off camera. Let's get together, Ed! You videoing me? Are you crazy? You know, this is actually what I do to keep away the bears. Because there's lots of bears in this country and, uh, shit the thing off. Me. Let's have a moment of silence for all these dead praying mantises. Yes, I know these aren't dead praying mantises, but these are the praying mantis nests. And it looks like, probably due to global warming, these loving creatures have all died. And I will keep one of these in my pocket in remembrance of them. Here's your hat back, Samwise. Let's hit the road. Where are you, Mr. Frodo? First the train map is now this. Samwise has gone off chasing his friend Mr. Frodo. This is the last day. And I'm pretty I'm sure he's dead. Oh, what is that? Hear something? Oh, uh, thank God did. We should probably chase after him. It might be a good idea. I'm just fascinated with this tree. Crocky. It's my quiffy. I'm pretty sure that what happened is a worm climbed up into the tree and he curled himself that way and then the tree formed around him. Dedicated worm. Let's go after sunlight. Hoi, hoi. After you, you belong like that. They put you whoop, whoop. You see this? You see this? That's the smile of the rock. That means this rock has eaten a lot of insects. For breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. Now let's go. Okay. 
Ah, du coup, fini. Ah, oh, shotgun. <rire> just kidding, it's just a tree. <rire> the first giant mugs. And now this. You see, these termites have carved their names in the log. What do you think of that, Samwise? It's beyond me. You must be getting intelligent. Soon these things will take over the entire world. Oh. Oh, that will be a day of sorrow. But for now, let's find some abnormal insects. As you can see, this here is the ground and there is some moss. If we lift up the moss, we may or may not find anything. Um, it's definitely more ground. There's more ground. I'm sure if we kept digging deeper, we'd find more of the same. But look at this. Is it a worm? Is it an arachnid? No, it's just a root. And that's why you have me as your guide on this wilderness adventure. So stay buckled up in your seats, folks. Well, we finally found something of interest. You know, caterpillars, they eat and eat and eat. And then, when the time is right, they spin themselves up into something we call a cocoon. Or for us scientific -y folk, a chrysalis. And down there on the ground, you can see a whole bunch of cocoons. And those will soon be beautiful butterflies. Just another amazing product of evolution. Isn't that right, Samwise? Shire Bagginses. Now where are you, Mr. Frodo? These morbid termites have started turning the trees into torpedoes and are aiming them at our beloved Rocky Mountains. We've got to put a stop to this. And that's why we're on a mission. At first our mission was just to find bugs. Now our mission is to destroy all bug kind. My friends have died. I'm just about to die as well. The insects, they, they got us and they killed us all. Oh, I've just been stung by a poisonous bee. And now I'm about to die.